Well, hello, once again, I'm back today on my own. Jordan is at work, so it's time to work on my Mini for a change. So back on the Juice Mini today, and today I'm gonna do a little mod. Um, it's always bothered me on Minis about how big that heater unit is. I mean, I know you can buy the smaller versions, but they're quite expensive. Now, as you probably know, if you've watched this channel for a while, I like making things. So I've had an idea in my head for quite a while now about how I could modify this heater unit and make it smaller, more compact and possibly better. Now, there is a further mod to this heater mod, but I'll explain as I go along. Anyway, so there's your normal heater unit with the two pipes that go up to the dash vents and it is huge it's quite heavy bulky um i quite like this bit on the front with the direction flaps and what have you but it's not needed it's not really needed now once again i'll explain the sort of second mod coming along with my of this one um but you can do this with electrical switches going to be quite clever um, of course you've got your fan on and off and as I say like your direction thing so anyway let me put this down now I'm gonna try I've got a mini heater matrix it's a second hand one but it doesn't look like it's been leaking which is quite rare and once again like I say this is only a sort of a test and see how it goes if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't I don't know how reliable these fans are going to be, but I've got two of these. Um, and like I say, the next mod could mean having a third one of these. Uh, where I'm doing my mini, I only want warm air blowing up to the windscreen. I'm not interested in warm air going into the cab because if you put it on the windscreen, it's going to warm the cab anyway. Not really interested in blowing it on my feet or anything. So yeah, like I say, got two of these fans. Let me just hold these in place and then I'll pick them up and show you roughly what I'm gonna do. Oh, drop one, drop one. That didn't work. So basically, I'm gonna make a little panel to mount them. Not gonna mount them up about there and mount them that so one blows this way one blows out this way or that way and that way it depends depends how i can get them mounted and where i can get it mounted in the car there's there's a lot of variables to it but basically i say i only want this to go up to the windscreen so if, if that's the case that'll do the job so like i say these these are i think nine quid each or eight quid each on ebay um, I've had them fired up. They do actually blow quite a bit of air, so it could be all right. They could be all right. I'm not going to say they're going to be better than the Minis one. Can't say that yet, but we can only try, like I say. Okay, right. Um, I've got to tidy up the garage a little bit before I start, because a lot's been going on in here. Let me pick you up. There's a lot of piles of mess everywhere. It's... It's in a hell of a state round here. So I've got to have a bit of a tidy up and then crack on with this. So join me and see how this works out. <coughs> Woo! And there we go. Two holes. Now, as you can see, I did cut it out of a drill. Joined all the holes together with that. Smoothed off the edges as best as I could with that. And the old angry end on it. And then finally finished it with the old file. So that's got me two holes I need now. And if you kind of look through there, that'll be how the fan will sit. So that's the air intake. Fits pretty well. Now I just need to position the fans in the right place and mark and drill two holes to fix them down. And then uh, 
yeah, I think, I think that could be it. And then I'll uh, show you when they're fixed on there, and then we'll fix them onto the matrix. Yay, there we go. So that's the fans mounted on there. As you can see, the screws don't fit, uh, poke through very far, so they're not going to be stabbing into the matrix. Um, yeah, and of course the wiring, that should be kind of neat because there's only two wires, so I can literally join them at the fan and just have an earth coming out with a pause to turn them on. So, but what I might do in a minute, um, once I've got it fixed to the matrix, I might actually power it up and hold a bit of paper over it or whatever and we'll see how well it blows so that's the next job is to drill some little holes and get this secured onto the matrix next something like that so yeah a couple of little screws now let's do that here's a handy little tip um obviously i've got a drill into the side of this uh heater matrix now and of course i don't want to go too far through and puncture the actual core do i so if you want to do that um, what I do, it's something anyone can do, because you've all got this sort of stuff, is you want to put a spacer there. So a little socket over the end of there, and then once your drill goes through, it's going to stop at the end of the socket. Let's see if I can do one live on camera. Let's see if I can cock this up. There we go. That's gone through and uh, save the core of the heater matrix so what's that doesn't really matter what size it is but a four and a half mil quarter drive socket on the end of the drill will stop you doing any damage try it so i thought seeing as i've nearly done this i've screwed in the other side so let's uh, get these two screws in that's it so now there is your slimline heater box. The only other thing we've got to do, obviously, when we mount it in the car, um, my hope is I can mount it on the back of the bulkhead that way. Two pipes, oh, there's my fingers, two pipes coming through the bulkhead, boom, straight into there. And then one pipe going off to one side, one pipe going off to the other. That's all it really needs. You need a little bit of an air gap at the back, so you want to mount it about that sort of far off the bulkhead really, just so the air can pass through. Um, but of course this now being steel means I can weld something on the end of here to mount it to the car. I'm not gonna be fitting it in the car today. Um, this is my only mission for the day, but I'm quite pleased with that. Now that is very compact and yeah, pretty good. So I'm gonna switch you off again now. I'm gonna get a battery hooked up to it and See if I can show you how well it blows. Right, okay. Well, you might be able to hear, but that's the fans running. Now, actually, let's... Uh, I'm going to do a little test. To see, if I block up this bit here, so it's just pulling through there, I wonder if it'll make a difference. But anyway, this little plastic bag is all I can really... And that sticks... That sticks to the heater matrix on that side, so we know the air is pulling through. And of course here, well, it, yeah, it does fly quite a bit. Let's see if I can, uh, see if I can open this bag, fill it like a balloon. There you go. Woo. So yeah, um, they do blow quite well. I think as sufficient enough air to keep a windscreen clear anyway like i say and you've got that both ends um but yeah i might just block up these edges just to see if it'll my only other concern is the actual heat and these plastic fan units i wonder if it is going to melt them or cause them any problems maybe they'll distort i don't know so i don't know whether to block up these bits or not I mean, if I do do it, yeah, I, I don't know. I, well, I think what I do, because I say the, the actual airflow, I'm going to get hot air to the car. There's no two ways about it. Um, and yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. It looks good. It is simple. Um, and like I say, the only other thing now, I mean, if you, if you thought about it, if you're going to make one of these, if you thought about it a bit more than what I did, you could even make some brackets that come out of here out of the same sheet of steel just by folding some feet on it maybe 
Um, but I didn't think about that at the time, so I'll just cut that out and well, here I am now. But like I say, just a couple of spot welds, a couple of little brackets. I don't think it will take much to get that mounted to the car. Um, and there we go, that's the fan stop now. So they're not that noisy either, and obviously they're only, what do they say on them? Um, half an amp they draw each. So that's both of those are going to be drawing an amp. It's nothing, is it? But like I say, they are cheap, cheap fans. They might be okay, they might not be. There we go, let me uh, see my face. Yeah, so they might be all right, they might not be. Um, like I say, it's a bit of a trial, see how it goes, but you know, I'm really happy with that. I think that that is really good. Yeah, well pleased. So, well, let me know in the comments what you think. I think this could be uh, a very cheap and easy way to make a compact heater unit for your Mini. It would work. Um, yeah, I, I think it's brilliant. Uh, well, I know I made it, but like I say, very, very simple. So now all I've got to do is make some little ports there to go from that square onto the uh, round part of the tubes. And that means welding. So I'm going to knock up a couple of them now, see how I go. Might be really quick and easy, might not be, but I'll be back in a couple of seconds, let you know I've got on. Just to start with, I've made these little squares that literally slot over there. Um, they're not completely there. Uh, you know, they need sort of tacking together in the end there, but I might not do that. I don't know. Now, I'm going to cheat at this next bit. I've got two end plates of there so I'm just going to cut that section out and that will give me my tube for my tube to sit on so all I need to do is cut that square out there same on the one the other side now this is coming off of the heater box that I actually squashed um, I left it under the ramp there and let the ramp down so I squashed it so it's no good anymore, really. The ends actually are okay. Um, but where is it now? Where, what did I do with it? What did I do with it? Ah, yes, I've got another one there anyway. So, and also there is another two in that lot there somewhere. One's Jordan's and another one's mine. So I've got a few spares. So yeah, I'm gonna do both of that with the other end on the other one, cut these bits out, weld that on top of there. Then that should just go, clink, sit over there probably drill it in a couple of places couple of self-tapping screws just to hold it on so it won't go anywhere and then there is your blower tubes so right okay i'm going to shut up now weld these bits on cut them out weld them on show you what i've done all right and there you have it um i've cut out that little tube and just welded that on there and then you can fit it either way around, of course, because it's a, you know, equal thing. That'll slot on there. And there you go. Once you figure out that, and there's your tube on there, which will go up to your windscreen ducts. Yeah, boy. It's good. I'm really pleased with that. So I've just got to make that other one because I've still got that bit now. Um, and yeah. Um, I'm calling that nearly done. Like I say, I've just got to make the brackets for the side, which I need to figure out where it's going to go on the car first and what have you. And like I say, not going to do that today. Woo! Yeah. So anyway, you, you get the idea, don't you? It's, you know, that little thing. That'll guide the air straight up to the, uh, up to the windscreen. That's awesome, isn't it? I've even got to say it myself. That is awesome. That is so simple. I don't know what's rattling in there. But anyway, who cares? It's only a rattle. Plenty of them on the Mini. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to call it a day with this video now because you've seen how I've done this. Just needs a lick of paint as well. Fantastic. Very compact heater unit. Like I said before, let us know what you think in the comments. What do you think is going to fail? If anything is going to go wrong, do you reckon it's going to be the fans? It's, that's the only thing that can fail, really, isn't it? 
is them fans. And if they fail, well, try something else. But they were cheap. Um, from memory, I think they were about six or seven quid a fan. So very, very cheap. So, okay, yeah, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll be back another day for another mod on the Mini. Now, not too sure when I'm going to do this one. It might be next week now. Might be tomorrow, but might be next week. Um, give you a little bit of a clue. I'll be taking the front seats out of the car. But that's the only clue you're getting. Okay then, well, thanks for watching this. And uh, like I keep on saying, let me know what you think. And yeah, tell me what, you tell me what you're thinking. See you next time. Bye-bye.